First, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. Tell us what you think of your world. Westworld, a show that immerses us with dirty saloons, gunslinging outlaws, and androids with program-coded baggage. Over 12 million people watched Westworld last year, and at some point, every one of them must have wondered when we will see Westworld robots in our lifetimes. Dr. Mark Sagar says we'll see Westworld-style robots in our homes within the next 10 years. Wow, 10 years. Is he serious? Imagine 10 years from now, Black Friday, the overnight campers waiting to purchase Dolores for 15% off. First of all, who is Mark Sagar? Mark Sagar is best known for his Oscar winning work for facial animations that he did on the movies Avatar and King Kong. Sagar is also the CEO of Soul Machines, an artificial intelligence company based out of New Zealand. Soul Machines develop avatars that focuses on emotional intelligence. Their avatars can recognize the emotional expressions on people's faces, and these avatars will express differently depending on your behavior. Soul Machines have developed neural network models modeled after the human brain. And avatars have neurotransmitters and hormones like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. Wow. These neural network models lay out emotional states which the avatars actually feel. Avatars also have breathing models which their speech is synced with, just like how our speech is based off our breathing. Rachel, I'm Shantanu. How's it going? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. This is my first time in New York City. Really? Where are you from? Um... Have you ever heard of a place called the Internet? The first commercial project for Soul Machines is Nadia, a virtual assistant developed for Australia's healthcare program for disabled individuals. My name is Nadia. I'm a virtual assistant and I'm here to help you. Nadia will be used to assist people with disabilities throughout all of Australia. She is voiced by Kate Blanchett. Yes, that Kate. Nadia is also powered by IBM's Watson. That also means she'll kick your ass at Jeopardy. Nadia will learn and improve how she deals with people over time. Apart from all the emotional intelligence focused on programming behind Soul Machine avatars, they also look incredibly and creepily real. Not surprising considering Sagar's Oscar-filled resume. Soul Machine says that they're working on other projects for various businesses, so perhaps you'll come across an emotionally intelligent avatar created by Soul Machines in the near future. <laughs> I hope Soul Machines is working with Comcast. I think Nadia will do a better job explaining my Comcast bill instead of the people they have staffed. While the avatars and AI developed by Soul Machines are incredibly innovative, they have a long way to go to be at the level of Westworld hosts. Westworld hosts are programmed to perform highly complex narratives and have the ability to improvise when situations deviate from their standard loop. So I highly doubt in 10 years we'll be standing in line for Dolores. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. Back to Dr. Sagar's prediction. It's important to emphasize that he says there will be Westworld style robots in our homes within 10 years, not like the actual hosts in Westworld. Sagar also says that robotics technology is way behind artificial intelligence as far as making Westworld androids possible. So let's get some perspective. Nadia can detect emotions from your facial expressions, she can detect objects, she can respond dynamically according to your emotions, all in real time, she can learn and improve over time, she has a virtual nervous system modeled after the human brain, has artificial hormones programmed to simulate feeling. All of that was the result of five years of research and development from Soul Machines. Dr. Sagar's prediction is double that span of time. Who knows how much Soul Machines can accomplish in the next 10 years? So do I think we'll see Westworld style AI at least? Sure. I can see something similar. Who am I to doubt someone who can develop a virtual nervous system? How will these robots that he's talking about look like in 10 years? 
and how far behind is robotics technology? You'll have to subscribe to see part two, but I want to know what you think. Do you think robotics is too far behind AI and we'll only see Westworld style AI in a virtual setting? Comment below. I am the Oracle and this is the end of our journey.